continuous sine waves okay to run through a subwoofer? Because no, here's my reasoning, right? It's yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. like it's not sure. like um I have a sub like a car audio sub where you don't know what amplifier I'm running. I could be pumping mm -hmm. out way too much power for this yeah. sub and fry it. But I'm talking about mm -hmm. like a you know home theater subwoofer. They know what the driver is. They know what the power of the app is. Yeah. They have right. DSP. It might. He tried to make it sound like I'm not allowed to run test tones like that. Ooh, that's, you're gonna fry it like uh, Villa Man did. I mean, you Can't. you could, but they should have like DSP limiting software built into it. Not software, but like firmware built into it mm -hmm. to where it would keep the speaker from being blown. You know, I mean, but it just depends on the speaker. So, for example, if they're if they do have a limiter, well, first of mm -hmm. all, if they don't have a limiter, then eventually you're gonna fry the speaker if you just start drilling it, right? But if they do have a limiter and the limiter is like, I don't know, very uh, optimistic or something like that, you know, it's just over limiting, then you're mm -hmm. probably never going to blow the speaker. If it does have a limiter and it's not quite optimistic for the abuse that it might take, mm -hmm. then you could fry the speaker. So there's a lot of, I don't know, but you should be fine. I mean, most well, of these companies... Whose fault would that be then? Whose fault would well, it be? Well, I, I don't know. I think it depends on like if you're purposely trying to see how far it can go before you blow it up and then you blow it up mm. and it's beyond the capabilities that like most people would push. And by, by most people, I mean like at average use. Somebody you know what I'm saying? Movies, yeah. Like if you're purposely that? abusing it, that's different. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what if they're playing uh, the bass I Love You? Is that abusing? It's mm. a song? I don't, I don't think so. I think it's just, you know, that's a test. That's a track. There's a lot of, there's a lot I mean, of, I've, it, I've, I've, I've seen depends. tracks. Bass mechanic, if I'm running bass mechanics, that okay? It's like 20 uh, cycles. Look, look, 18 what does cycles. the manufacturer, uh, what does the know, manufacturer like, say it can do? And if you're trying to like beat the snot out of it past that, then, and you find out it doesn't go past that, then hey, they told you. I'm running the IMAX test where the rocket ship goes up and it's like, it's doing that for like 30 seconds. I mean, that shouldn't blow it. That's what I'm saying, though. The, my it whole point be. is like, they need to know yeah. that people are gonna they're gonna try to push their sub, right? They want to yeah, know no, what it can do. I, I, so I think there's reasonable question, expectation yeah. from a manufacturer. Okay. So what is the what is the purpose of running 16 hertz for a minute? Well, like, what do you want to accomplish out of that? What am I trying to play? I mean, are just, you YouTube video. Oh. Are you just trying to <laughs> clearly, clearly for a YouTube? I'm, I'm waiting for the whole question. Otherwise, <laughs> I'm waiting for the whole question. All right, all right. Let's hear. Well, it. my question is like, what is like, what's your purpose behind just playing a 16 hertz sine wave? Are you well, wanting I, to see if it can, if you can feel it, if you can hear it, if you, yeah. if the sub smokes? What are you hoping, or what well, are here, you wanting? Here's to see? what I'm definitely not trying to do. Right, I'm definitely not trying to blow up the sub because I need to review the thing. Mm -hmm. Right. What kind of review? Yeah. I, I did an unboxing, took it in, I moved it, and then I blow it up. Okay, <laughs> what, get, what do I get, get out of that? Views. You get a bunch of views. I guess you would. It's on, it's on fire. You know, the fire department's coming out. You're getting some like, B-roll. Like but I don't stuff. think SVS is going to want to send out more subs. Like, dude, this guy just keeps yeah. blowing up our subs, <laughs> making us look bad. That's not a great thing. <laughs> All he does is, like, he plays he plays Here's test tones to try to blow them up. You Here's got my SBS uh, subwoofer <laughs> review and what not to do when That's you right. buy one. Right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I, I found Don't get it past here, it. otherwise you'll blow it up. Just look at Joe. Yeah. I mean, yeah. look, are there's enough information. That, my point is there's enough information. Are they concerned that people are going to see that? <laughs> uh, let me start. Are they concerned that people are going to see that and try to emulate what you did and blow up speakers and then their SBS is going to oh, be culpable oh, so for maybe that? maybe it's a liability thing? I don't know. Or maybe I, you I, need to have a disclaimer, Joe. Don't do not try this at home, kids. Professional. Yeah. 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 Professional. professional. <laughs> <laughs>